already talked at great lengths about how much fucking cash Pokemon Go is making Nintendo. We're talking about a shitload of bottle caps, rupees, gill, zenny, you fucking name it. They are making so many double dollars. These motherfuckers are rolling deep in Poke Coins. This shit's out of control. So much to the point that Pokemon Go is an out of control success story that Financially, right now, their shares are worth more. Like, put Nintendo, right now, as a whole, is worth more than Sony. We're talking about Sony, the electronics division, their entertainment division between movies, TV, music, everything all together. The electronics giant that everybody's known and loved, Nintendo currently, right now, it's more likely just going to be temporary, but still, it's still noteworthy enough to point out that they are currently worth more than them. Now granted, both of them collectively still aren't worth shit compared to something like Microsoft, but that is a completely and utter different story altogether. But this right here is an interesting story. Seeing what Bloomberg had posted, I was just like, okay, so let me get this straight. They were actually doing pretty well. They, they, they were doing pretty well in the past years. Though 2016, shit started faltering with the, how much their shares were actually worth. So anybody that was scooping up their shares throughout this year and then wants to go and sell right now is making fucking tons of cash right now. Because their shares, I mean, dropped the fuck off. They went way low. As a matter of fact, that was a big time news story for a while that Nintendo's stock was just kind of worth jack shit for a good bit and it didn't help that you know a lot of people were talking about the death rattle the inevitable death rattle which is a constant thing every single generation for nintendo it was said during nintendo 64 for gamecube it wasn't said during nintendo wii at all and then most definitely right now during wii u but we don't know what the foreseeable future holds out for nintendo we don't know anything about the nx we don't know about their next iteration of handhelds and we don't even know what the hell they have plans for going forward with the mobile market but if pokemon go is any indication of what they have in store then they're in good hands but being worth more than sony i mean sony has been kind of on has been on the decline for the most part you figure they've been selling off various different divisions within the giant and you figure this is a big ass umbrella that sony is and it's one of the things that i haven't talked about a whole lot but if you get to go through the history for the past i don't know about 10 years or so sony's sold off tons of different things and certain parts of them haven't been doing all that well. Now, Sony Entertainment, uh, Computer Entertainment, the actual, like, division of them that's for video games, is always doing very fucking well. I mean, last generation, they were dead fucking last place. And at the end of it, they've come up to be the second best-selling console of all time for last generation. Meaning, they passed Xbox 360, and that was an impressive feat considering how far back they were, and they were a year late into the game. So, that, that alone said a lot to me, and they're still making games for the system right now. The PlayStation 4 has been a runaway success story, but I mean, don't even get me fucking started on their electronics division, because, you know, it, they got out of making tons of different things. Laptops. They got rid of all their fucking LCD televisions, which, I mean, to me, makes a lot of sense because if you're getting anything less than an LED television, and everybody should be getting, like, an OLED television. that That's the shit right there. You get an OLED television, 4K curve, that shit looks fucking pristine and beautiful. Goddamn, but it, I always end up buying a Samsung television, so... You know, there's that. There, there's that part of me. But their gaming division has done well, so is this a sign that Nintendo is just doing extremely well or Sony isn't doing good enough? And how temporary is this going to be? I mean, I could be wrong right now, Nintendo could just continue riding high again! They could just keep on going and going and going. But I figured there has to be a dropping off point, because truth be told, a lot of mobile games, they have a shelf life that isn't consistently all that long compared to something like PC gaming or console gaming. And that's the truth. Lots of people that jump on the bandwagon of mobile games. You figure, I don't know how many motherfuckers out there have said, Oh, I'm playing Pokemon Go! But just like weeks ago, we're making fun of anybody who was into Pokemon and the Pokemon games and how stupid all that shit is. Yet, here they are going and playing all this stuff. So, you know, <laughs> dumb double standards right there. But it's a fucking bandwagon. How long can this bandwagon be self-sustained? That's the truth. So you figure there's a lot more Pokemon that have to bring in. And... 
how else can they build around this shit? I know that they've inked some kind of deal with McDonald's for Japan exclusively, and they are working out deals with tons of companies here in North America, so there could be a lot more on the horizon. If they're getting over a million downloads per day, and tons of people are just shelling out cash as fast as humanly possible, they're like, I'll go and take a fucking mortgage out on my house, I don't mind. They don't give a fuck right now, people just want to go and play this shit and spend money. But with the inevitable and X arrival, if that comes out and that doesn't impress people, if it fails to impress, could that go and drop the shares considerably lower and lower and lower? And you figure that Nintendo does have to answer to their shareholders. They have to answer to them like, okay, what are you doing going forward? And for most of the reason that they jumped on board is because of how successful they are in the mobile market. Will Nintendo go and focus a lot of their attention on that? Who the fuck knows? All, again, a lot remains to be seen, but this was kind of shocking to see. I mean, you were at almost 40 fucking billion in overall worth. That's insane. Like, that is fucking insane. Like, dude, 40 million. That's, that's so fucking out of control. I can't even conceive the idea of seeing that much cash in one place, and Nintendo gets to gloat that, oh yeah, that's, that's how much we're worth. And it's been talked about numerous times, so well, you know what, Nintendo should go third party, or one of the companies should go and buy them out. I've always liked the idea of Sony and Nintendo merging again, and try to hold super Famicom PlayStation hybrid thing, because I still love the idea of that. I think it would be really good. Nintendo gets to focus solely on making games. Sony gets to focus on making hardware and go and make that shit happen. But with this, Nintendo could just go in and just be like, we want to go and buy your games division. They have enough cash to go and do that because Nintendo is just all games. We're talking about this is how much Sony's worth altogether. That's how fucking crazy shit is right now. But if Pokemon Go ends up just dying off quickly or just over time and it continues to decline, it, do they have a, a plan to fall back on? What the fuck's going to happen? Do you think this is going to continue? Who the hell knows? I thought it was worth noting and talking about. Either way, this is Alpha Mega Sin, as always, Nurse Nerds and Gamers. Game the fuck on.